Hey friends, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we're going to talk about the very first question of week one. That is, hey, it's me or hello, it's me, I believe. So the question itself is pretty simple, but the reason that I'm making this video is I want to make sure that you are able to use the IDE properly, that is Visual Studio Code, the cloud version, right? So the very first thing to do is to keep in mind that we are at this website cs50.harbor.edu forward slash x forward slash 2024. If you are watching this video in 25, make sure to change the year, of course. And after you have done that, after you're here, click on week one on the left and then go at the bottom, problem set one. And then this is the first question that you'll have to submit. You have to do this program, but you don't really need to submit it, right? No need to submit this one. So number six, hello, it's me. This is the problem that we're going to solve, right? So the very first thing that it, the very first thing that we'll need to do is we'll need to go to cs50.dev, this website. You press enter. Once you go there, if you go there for the very first time, you'll be asked to log in. And then you will also have to authorize CS50 to use your GitHub account, right? Once you do that, this is the page that you'll see. Initially, like you won't see anything here. I have used it pro previously. That is why there's an archive folder that I made, right? So, hold on. There's an update available. Anyway, a few things that you will need to understand here is, okay. So this is your code editor, right? This is the editor page where we will write code. This is the terminal page where we write commands. And on the left, we have the file explorer, right? Where you will be able to see all the files and folders and everything, right? So as a programmer, one of the very fundamental things that you should know is how to use the terminal. You don't need to be a genius to use it. You should just know the basic commands, right? So for example, if we look back at our requirements, it says how to begin, execute, blah, 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 mkdir me. Basically, we need to make a folder called me and inside the me folder, we need to create a file called hello.c. So if we wanted, we could just click here plus we do create a folder and then we could create a file inside that. But as a programmer, it's really nice to use the terminal because in the long run, it will make you really fast, right? So the very first thing that we want to do is we want to create a folder, right? So let's just create a folder called week one first. And inside that week one folder, we'll create a folder called me, right? So to create a folder, we use a command called mkdir. So this basically make, means make a directory named week one. That is the folder, I, folder that I want to create, right? And if you look closely, what you will see is after I press enter right now, a new folder will be created called week one. Let me press enter. Okay, as you can see, there's a new folder here, right? Okay, so currently it just shows me a dollar sign, right? So this basically means where I am currently. If it shows nothing after the dollar sign, it means that I am in the home directory, in the root di directory, which is basically like the home directory. <laughs> this is where I am as of now, right? So if I were to say ls, ls basically lists all the files or folders that is in a given directory so if i were to press enter right now it will show archive and week one that is from the home directory folder right and then if i wanted to go inside a folder let's say that i wanted to go inside the folder called week one what i would need to do is i would need to say cd which is basically change directory to week one press enter as you can see, now it shows week one forward slash and then the dollar sign, right? So now if I say ls, there's nothing in week one right now, right? So now if I wanted to create a file called hello.c, which is our assignment, we will say code hello.c, right? After you type this code hello.c, this is going to be our file name. After you type this and if you press enter, see, there's a new file and then the editor pane is active now, right? So we'll just use the basic boilerplate that we learned in the lecture itself, which would be to include the header files first, include cs50.h, standard io.h, and then we'll say int min void. And after we've done this, if you look at the requirement, this is the program that we need. 
after we say make hello forward slash hello it should ask what's your name and after the user enters his or her name it should print hello and the name right hello comma name okay so let's do it so the very first thing that we want to do is we want to declare a variable right so for that what we will do is we want to declare a string variable so we'll say let's create a string call name right and what we want to do is we want to in the name string we want to store uh, we want to store the name of the user right and to ask the name we will use a function that is included in cs50 library right and that is get underscore string what's your name all right after we do this if we wanted we could just do this in one line this is also totally fine right but for the sake of clarity for you to read properly for you to be able to read properly i'll do it in two separate lines so after the program is executed it will ask what's your name to the user and whatever input the name whatever input the user gives to the program it will be stored in the string called name right and then what we want to do is we want to print it to print the name hello and name we will use the printf function and we will say uh, is it capital or small okay it's small hello and then we'll give a space we'll say we'll insert a placeholder and then backslash n to make sure that the pointer to make sure that this the blinking dollar sign goes to the next line you'll see what i mean and then which variable do we want to use we want to use the variable called name right okay so the very first thing that we want to do is let's say clear first so that it clears everything and then we want to first make hello right make and then the file's name without the dot c right press enter nothing happened which may, which is a good sign it has created a binary file called hello and then if we want to execute this file forward slash dot forward slash hello press enter it asks what's your name i'll say suraj press enter hello suraj that's perfect so if we were to not use this backslash n what would happen is if i say make hello and then i execute it see if i don't include the backslash n this will not move to the next line which will look really weird right so we like to include the backslash n here let's clear it again and another thing that you will want to do after you have written the program you will want to fulfill the other requirements which is basically to say you want to copy this command how to test the correctness and then you want to paste it here you want to press enter and after you do that it will take a moment it will check whether or not the program that we created is correct and let's wait for a while while we are waiting for the result okay as you can see everything is here so basically we are able to like our program satisfies all the requirements that are there and then this is the second thing that we want to do style 50 if you wanted you could just copy and paste it here or another thing that you could do which i like to do all the time hold on is basically using the style 50 on the right top corner right there's a button called style 50 and if you press it it will basically show you if there are any errors currently it says look good for example let's say that if i were to do this and if i click on style 50 it will show me right this is a change that i need to make basically i need to move this right i need to in a new line line 5 i should add this right so if i go here or i can just say apply changes that is the easiest thing to do okay looks good blah 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 and then if we wanted to submit it which we do we'll just copy this and then we'll come back to our terminal and we would paste the command and if we press enter it will take a while it will connect it will basically tell you that this is the file which is going to be submitted and keeping in mind the uh, courses academic policy which is basically you should not copy paste code from other people you should write your own code do you want to continue I'll say yes right yes and no are the options yes press enter 
and it will upload and it will tell you the result has been published here so to go there you will say command you will basically command click or control click it will ask you your browser and then you'll press enter as in open and then it will show you your grade right i had done this previously as well that is why it's showing it here but as you can see check 50 we we passed all the requirements and then we also got full grade in the style section which is kind of good thing okay after we've done this okay let me clear the terminal again if you wanted you could say clear and then enter or another thing that you can do is you can press control or control plus k or command plus k if i do that as you can see it's clear now right now let's say that i wanted to go out of this folder right if i had another folder called week 2 let me create a folder here week 2 okay let me add it here okay now let's see let's say that i wanted to go to the folder called week 2 how would i do that the very first thing that i would want to do is i want i would want to type cd if you type cd without anything else it will just take you to the home directory right and now if i say ls to list it will say you have three folders archive week one week two and if i wanted to go to week two remember we say cd week two press enter as you can see we are in week two if we list all the files and folders available in it it will say nothing because we don't have anything right so this was the very first assignment that you were assigned which is hello it's me i am making videos about all the other assignments so keep in touch for that basically if this video was helpful make sure to subscribe to the channel and drop a comment down below it really does help the channel and of course these videos take effort to make time and effort to make so i would really appreciate any support that you saw anyway i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye